More truck drivers may want to start tailgating. A technology company has developed a platooning system for U.S. trucks in order to help them save fuel. Trucks equipped with a platooning device have cameras and monitors to display real-time video of the road. The lead truck communicates to other trucks every 30 milliseconds by radio signals. The trucks can be separated up to 50 feet. The lead truck sets the pace and other trucks follow suit automatically. Drivers are still present in all of the trucks, but they can see the conditions on the road ahead of the lead truck on their monitors. The company says platooning can help the lead truck save 4.5% on fuel on average, while the trucks behind can save as much as 10%. The system is expected to be launched later this year. Trucks equipped with this technology will initially travel in convoys of two in order to allow other vehicles' space to merge onto highways. Say no to safe spaces on YouTube. Support Tomo News at patreon.com slash Tomo News. Here are other stories on autonomous cars. Singapore to test self-driving trucks. Singapore has announced a partnership with Toyota and Scania to develop and test a self-driving truck platooning system that can transport goods between its shipping ports. The truck platooning system involves a human-driven truck leading a convoy of autonomous trucks by wireless communication. The trucks can be coupled or decoupled to allow other cars to cross between the vehicles. The trucks are also equipped with vehicle detection and anti-collision technologies. The initial test route is a 10-kilometer stretch along the West Coast Highway. Singapore, which is fully devoted to developing self-driving technologies, conducted the world's first public trials of self-driving taxis in August. Singapore plans to test self-driving buses. Singapore announced on Wednesday that the country will begin testing autonomous buses on the road in 2018. Two existing electric hybrid buses will be equipped with various sensors, including LiDAR, high-sensitivity cameras, radar, and GPS receivers. The autonomous system allows the buses to detect obstacles and lanes in order to navigate through traffic. The test route covers a one-kilometer stretch of road in the west of the island. The buses can be recharged at bus stops along their route, which takes about 30 seconds. Singapore began testing driverless taxis in August. One of the self-driving cars collided with a truck on Tuesday, but no one was injured in the accident. Self-driving car starts cross-country journey. Move aside, Google. Automotive component supplier Delphi is about to eat your lunch by taking their self-driving vehicle on a journey from the Golden Gate Bridge to the Big Apple. Delphi's driveless Audi will begin on Sunday, will be the longest automated drive ever attempted in North America. The Audi SQ5 will be challenged under a variety of driving conditions, from changing weather and terrain to potential road hazards. Delphi will test its advanced driving assistance systems while the luxury SUV makes its way through busy intersections, highways and maneuvers itself past cyclists. The navigation system, cameras and sensors are all controlled by intelligent software that enables the vehicle to make complex human-like decisions. The car's list of advanced features even includes auto valet and parking abilities. If the journey proves successful, Delphi Automotive will no doubt become a major player in the self-driving car market. Say no to safe spaces on YouTube. Support Tomo News at patreon.com slash Tomo News. Uber to roll out driverless car service in Pittsburgh. Uber is launching a self-driving car service this month in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. In 2014, Uber hired members of Carnegie Mellon's robotics department and built up a team of engineers, robotics experts, and mechanics to work toward the goal of replacing human drivers with robots. The Pittsburgh service will use Volvo XC90 SUVs equipped with Uber's autonomous driving system. An engineer seated at the wheel and a co-pilot in the passenger seat will keep track of the vehicle's activity and safety. Customers will be chosen at random for trips in the autonomous cars. Those trips will be free. Uber started testing self-driving Ford Fusions in Pittsburgh earlier this year in a trial with the Detroit automaker. 
However, Uber's Pittsburgh project is still very much a beta test. The self-driving Volvos will have humans inside, ready to take control at a moment's notice. And even if the vehicles were reliably able to drive themselves without human supervision, convincing customers and regulators to accept them may prove an even bigger hurdle.